I love learning how to program. Every day I learn something new and it is one of my favorite things about this job. I love it so much I even remember the first time that I ever sat down and started programming. I had a computer that looked, uh, well, a little something like this. It was an IBM 8088. I had this exact book in my lap. My father had bought it for me. And the first program that I wrote looked something more or less like this. It didn't do much. It just asked uh, the user for what their name was and then printed it back out. It said, hello. And that was it. It was so simple and so straightforward to get up and running. It might have taken me an hour. And I won't ever forget it because in that first afternoon learning how to program, I learned as much as I probably learned in the next decade. It was so cool and so much fun. And what's great about programming is that hasn't changed. You can still get up and running that easily. I mean, sure, no one uses QBasic anymore. And <laughs> yeah, I get it. Computers do not look like that. But the simple fact of the matter is, even if you're just watching this video series, you can get started programming right away. I'm going to teach you how you can download Python or you can hit up a fiddle on a website and you can learn to program. It's so simple to start learning and it is so much fun. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can learn to program and a lot of different paths. In fact, whatever educational path that you're probably already on has a way for you to engage with programming as a career. You can learn the fundamentals and the basics. Regardless, because what it boils down to is that information technology, things such as programming, is always a combination of traditional academic education, such as university, and ongoing professional education. You need to combine all of these different educational paths in order to become a programmer. It's a great journey, and it's a lot of fun, and you have a lot of choice. You have a lot of self-direction. For example... If you are considering attending university or college, you might think that, well, I've got to go in for a computer engineering degree or computer science degree. And while, well, yes, it's true that both of those degree plans will lead you to a lot of programming skills, they're not the only way to learn. You might not be interested in computer engineering directly or computer science, and that's okay. Management information systems, data science, business analytics, health information, even statistics and statistical analysis are all fundamentally programming educations that you can get. So regardless of where you want to steer your academic career, you can find an opportunity to work programming into it. And this is true even if you are considering a non-technical degree. So what is it that you want to get involved in? Human resources, sports medicine, economics and finance. A lot of fields need programmers and need that skill set to bolster what they do. So even if you're not interested in a direct technical education, you can still learn to program and get value in your education, value in your career with a programming degree. The thing to understand about university is that you are going to learn a lot of fundamental IT and programming or development skills there, and they will give you a foundation that you can work from moving forward. Of course, like any career, it doesn't end at the end of college. We are always looking into continuing education opportunities, and like I said to start off this video, that's one of my favorite elements of this job is how much fun you get to have learning new things and continuing my education as I grow as a professional, and there's a lot of different ways in technology and programming that you can do that. There are development certifications available from people like Microsoft as well as cloud developers. You can attend conferences, professional conferences, where you interact with the people who are on the leading edge of new technology. And did someone say CBT Nuggets? Oh yeah, I did. You're already, like I said, on a path to continuing professional education for programming just by watching this Intro to IT video series. So take a look at what CBT Nuggets has to offer that we can help you learn how to be the best programmer that you can possibly be. So I hope you found something engaging and exciting about all of these different opportunities for education in development and programming. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.